everyone, welcome to this space. If you're new here, I'm Kariki Clemens and on this channel I do interior design and lifestyle videos. Please subscribe, like and share this video. On today's video, I'll be doing a kind of a different video because I'm, I will be reviewing my cooking pot. So stay tuned so that you can get to hear what I have to say about them. Yeah, sometimes back that was six months ago, I wanted to buy myself some cooking pots. So I went to Kamkunji. Initially, I wanted to buy Eden bag pots. Either, either bit, I wanted to buy either, either Eden bag pots or Bosch cooking pots. Because I had seen a lot of reviews about the pots online. But when I went to Kamkunji, hey, where? I walked around so that I would get to know the market price of the cook of the cooking pots. Yeah, and the Eden bags pots were quite expensive because as it was going around fifteen to seventeen thousand, depending on the shop. But these ones were ranging between seventy nine hundred to eighty five hundred, depending on the shop that you go to. I decided to go for the Bosch. They were within the budget. Yeah, I will insert a clip of the pots when I was buying them at this point. So these are the pots. The pots are 10 pieces. They are granite. Yeah, so it has 10 pieces and by 10 pieces they count the leads, the leads together with the pots. So this is one piece and this is the, is the second piece. So to get all of them are 10. So you start with the big one. I never, I have never used it. That's why it's still in its package. Here it's how the superior looks like. You see, I have never used it. It's as good as new. It's a big, it's a big one. Probably I, I'll use it when I have a lot of guests. It comes with its lid, and here is the lid. That one. So you should visit me so that I can. We can get to use the cooking pot. So this one is the first one. Then we go to the second one. So the second one is the pan. They are the same. I don't know if they are the same. So the second one is the pan. Okay, it's how it's looking like. So I've been using this pan ever since I got them and it's been serving me quite well. And how anything I issue I like it. I like the pots by the way and it has it's big here it is yeah this is the second one then we have this is the third cooking pot I also use this one when I have visitors yeah because it's it's a good size when you have visitors it's also in perfect condition as you can see yeah, and it's it's how many centimeters? 28 centimeters. Yeah, it's the, this one and the pan are of the same sizes. So here it's, it's lead. You can see. See, to me, it's not like me. That's the bad one. Then we have the fourth pot. This is the pot that I use frequently. As you can see, it's a little bit uh, so this is how it's looking this is how my pot is looking it's been six months and for this pot i would say it have served me quite well because i use it daily this one and there's a small one this is the smallest it's, it's, it's 20 centimeters it has served me quite well as you can see and here it's, it's lit so this one, here it's, it's lit So the everything that has an advantage has a disadvantage. And when you use these pots frequently, I'm a, for a long time, it gets so hard to clean. Personally, I find it so hard to clean because I realized when I when I wash these parts of this sufuria, the the nini, the granite, I'm a, like this granite thing, the black thing in a toka, and I usually use this 
scrap this one for your, for washing utensils nikisugua nayo inatoka so when the thing is ukitumia hii kitu the scrap kuosha the sufuria sufuria inaacha kukuwa nonstick but now a while back like two weeks back i had some visitors around and when we were done having food and everything they decided to help me clean the utensils so one of my guests alini sugua is furia she used this kadhing to sugua my sufuria i don't know if you can see quite well but it can a spot hapa so actually that's the purpose of doing this video don't use abrasive stuff i'm like something like za kusugua sufuria sana the thing is when using when you using spices with this spot is na they tend to discolor the pots. I don't know if they have I have a spot that it is discolored. They they turn like brownish. So whenever you are cleaning the sufuria, kuneza figuria kusugua. No kisugua. If you have like if you have to scrub your pots, use this one. He haita he haita kumesa. Now this free has like a patch here that I don't know what I'm gonna do about it, but but I don't know what I'm gonna do about if you know if there's something that I can do, please comment down below. And also I will say if you sugua this part, your sufuria stops becoming non-stick and starts sticking, so it becomes a kawaida sufuria. So don't use these things or the ones that sugua sufuria sana utaiharibu. But meanwhile, it has been serving me quite well for the six months that I have had it. Oh, I feel so bad about this patch here. But anyway. So it also has its lid. Yeah. This is the third one. Is the third one or the fourth one? The fourth one. Then we have this sufuria. This one is the smallest. It's a 20, 20 centimeters. And I also use this daily. As you can see, it's also in perfect condition. This one has no issue. You have no issue about it. Also, I, I, I did the same thing about cleaning. And I realized so don't make a mistake of scrubbing the pots as I did. So this is the smallest sufuria. I believe I have shown you everything. Then for the cooking for the pots, don't use the metallic spoons on your sufuria. They will scratch your pots and you will not like it and they will not, they will not give you value for your money. Also bought these wooden spoons. spoons. Wooden spoons, they were going around. Is it 300? No, I don't know how this one. This one is not for this part, yes. So they are four. I bought them for either 250 or 300. I can't remember the exact price, but they are sold at Kamukonji. So these are the best cooking pots while cooking for these pots. Yeah, and they have been serving me quite well as well. Then the other thing is that the handles are good conductors of heat. They are not heat resistant. So when you're cooking them and you tend to touch this with your bare hands, it will burn you. So if you have to buy them, take precaution about it. Uh, so that's the thing. Then also when you scrub, when you're washing your pots, make sure you don't scrub this part. Kabisa. There, are, there is a star. I mean, there is a chemical. I would call it a chemical or a soap, or, or a soap that I've seen online. It's called the pink stuff. I've seen people using it to clean this kind of pots with it. And from their recommendation, I'm from their reviews, they're saying it does it does the job for the pots, but I haven't used it yet. When I buy it, I'll be back here to show you how much to tell you how it performed. So don't scrub your pots. You end up with a kawaida sufuria. Yeah, in the meantime. I'm for the six months I have used the pot, they have served me quite well. I can't complain. I got them at a shop at Kamkunji. I can't, I think it was called Amsterdam shop. If either Amsterdam or something in Kamkunji, I can't, I'm not good in giving directions, so I, <laughs> I can't tell where I bought it. Yeah, so I bought the pots, they were going for 8,000, but I bargained and uh, I bought them for 7,900. So that's it about the pot. If you are looking to buy a pot, make sure you conduct a research about the pot. Yeah, make sure you, like you like you've seen someone use the pot, the condition they are in before, and how long they have used the pots before going to purchase the pot. And don't settle in one shop. Work around so that you can get to hear the market prices. 
of various posts. Kendo kwa kuwa focus, don't, don't weep around. People there who are like on the streets and when they realize that you don't know what you want to buy ama you don't really know where to get this thing, they offer you help but probably you may end up getting robbed. So take care. Yeah, and that's it about this video. Probably I'll be back here after one year to review the post and more so for, for, for this one. Also for this one, I'll tell you the progress of this bot. Yeah, because I feel like hey, it can deliver heavy. I'll not get value for my body. But anyway, if you have watched this video to this far, thank you so much. I appreciate. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And until the next one, guys, bye.